I am just getting home from work and I thought I would just vlog for a little bit because if I'm being quite honest, I've been doing really well about planning and producing scripted content and I have not been, I just pulled out a business card. I have not been good about vlogging and I think as fun as Vlogmas was, I think I was like a little vlogged out so on the groove I love vlogging I just haven't really wanted to okay let me show you guys what I'm wearing because people always want to know so today I picked a preppier outfit I guess than I'm usually used to I'm wearing this lightweight trench coat it's a interesting brown color it has a removable hood um, it has a belt but it always ends up off this is from Michael Kors from way back when and then I'm wearing it over this tunic top. Couldn't quite figure out how I wanted to tuck it in, but this is how it ended up after sitting in the car. It was more like this earlier. I'm wearing black leather leggings. These are from ASOS. My shoes are old. They're from a brand called Sea Wonder that no longer exists. That was by Tori Birch. And then earrings and rings are from ASOS. And Makeup on my face, I will have linked down below. I've been wearing my Glossier lips a lot. I really like this Popsicle lip, and I just have bronzer on my eyes, but I love the color of it. So, yeah, that's that. I got some stuff in the mail. I made myself a snack. I'm going to, wow, this lighting is really shitty. So this is from Topshop. Oh wow, they even put them on a hanger. I'm kind of impressed. Ooh, okay, I'm digging. Okay, so I got these pants from Topshop. They are a really pretty midnight blue navy color. Ooh. And they have a nice pleat on the front and the back. These trousers normally sell for $40, and I got them for $12. The only thing that I'm not digging about these is that they don't have a belt loop, but I think they're gonna be really cute. Okay, you couldn't even see me. So this year I'm trying to branch out and wear more color. I think these are a good start. Ignore my TV, it's going up on the wall. I pick some paint colors. While we're on the topic, Topshop has amazing petites, like amazing, and I'm planning a petite series uh, for those of you that are like me that need shorter clothes so they are my tried and true and i hope these don't do me wrong i will try them on so first thoughts they fit me really well on the butt i'm liking that and i like the overall like feel of them they're very lightweight i'm not sure how i feel about the pockets they're sewed shut so i think i would probably want to open those up because that's not flattering and I might even like, I think I might even cuff them. Yeah, like already that looks better cuffed. So I'm probably gonna cuff them and take them up a little bit. Petite problems, but not to worry. Now I have a pair of navy pants. So I got sent a book, but it is called The Girl He Used to Know. It is by Tracy Garvis Graves. It also came with this. It says, Dear Reader, Love doesn't come with an instruction manual, but this advanced reader's copy, oh cool, of the girl he used to know does. We know you're going to fall in love with Annika and Jonathan's story, and once you do, oh cool, okay. So this is me opening the book, and then it gives me instructions on what to do. Cool, I think this was sent to me by Goodreads. Thanks Goodreads. If you um, love to read like I do, Goodreads is a really great app. It's like a social networking app for people to read and put reviews and uh, wish lists of things that they're reading or want to read and books that they've read. So cool. I'm definitely going to give this a, a go and let you know what I think about it. I'm going to eat my snack. I made, well, I didn't make these, but I'm having pomegranate seeds some cheddar, which I know is dairy, but I just felt like treating myself because your girl needs it, it's her time of the month, almonds, 
and a cup of Earl Grey tea with almond milk. Just going to enjoy that snack and do a little more work and some editing actually before I go over to Lola's house. So um, yeah, I will probably vlog. She's making dinner. I'm not sure what we're having. We're just gonna have a chilled night in. This first vlog in 2019 is not going to be that interesting, but thanks for coming along for the ride. Yum, 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 yum. I'm so excited. Good morning, it is Saturday, and as you can see, I am cozy in bed. I look ill. I need to put self-tanner on. That is step one today. Apologies for that, but other than my uh, appearance blending into my bed sheets, I'm doing well. <laughs> uh, don't let that confuse you. I went over to Lola and Ashley's last night. Lola made this amazing dinner. It was a traditional Dominican dish called mangu, which is basically like mashed plantains and it was like sweet and starchy plantains mashed up together. And then we had some like meat with it and fried queso frito, which I don't really know how to describe. It's just like a traditional cheese that you eat in Puerto Rico and in the Dominican Republic, avocados, tomatoes. We had lots of wine and it was great. And then after dinner, the three of us watched music videos and just hung out and danced and it was great. Had my breakfast and all my stuff and now I am about to tan and put on my self tanner, but I'm very cold so I'm drinking a cup of tea to warm me up, which is kind of ridiculous, but I'm going to have a glass of this and then get this situation, this pasty paste, this vampire situation sorted out with uh, the beauty of a tan. So the next time you see me, you may not recognize me. Just kidding, but uh, yeah, I'm, I, I don't know why, but a tan just always makes me feel good, even though it's not real vitamin D, so. And on that note, I have been trying some vitamins. I'm an old person now, and I put them in cases, so they're organized for the day. I will see you on the flip side. The next day. Just sitting here after a workout, hence the red face. Although it was pretty red earlier. I'm eating these. I just wanted to like come on here and say that these are so good. They're hippies, which I love the name. And they're vegan white cheddar chickpea puffs. They're like Cheetos, but healthy. And they have like a bunch of protein and fiber in them and they're delicious. And if anyone knows where I can get them besides Sprouts, let me know in the comments below. Cause they're so good. I think Ikea is in our future. I'm not sure. There aren't really any movies that we want to see, but it's like not super cold out, so it's a good day to go and do something. We shall see. Ikea was closed, so that was fun. But went to Target and ordered sushi. And the sushi was, and we are watching Call Me By Your Name and preparing for self-tape and making cookies is a good night. But I'm very sleepy. What time is it? I could literally go to bed right now. But, gotta film this self-tape. I wanna finish the movie with cookies because no movie is complete without cookies. And these are, well, the package ripped, but they're these gluten-free cookies. I will link them down below, they are I think they're better than Nestle Tolaus cookies. <laughs> um, so yeah, you didn't miss anything because nothing happened. 
Hello friends, I look orange. Why do I look like this? I mean, I okay, so I do have self-tanner on, but do you guys see I look ugh, bizarre? So let's just ignore this. I'm just going to sit like this for the rest of the vlog so you guys can ignore the terrible lighting. I promise I don't look like this in real life. Um, anywho, orangeness aside, I have just finished up some of my my morning. So Mondays, I'm trying to be more mindful about how I handle them. So I have the privilege of not necessarily having to go into an office every Monday, but because of that, some Mondays I'm more productive than other Mondays, some Mondays I'm more pumped for the week than others, and I, I know that that varies like with circumstance, but I want to try and keep Mondays as mindful and as positive as I can. So this morning I got up the time that I would get up the rest of the week, and I got my day going, I read, like put a little snippet of it, a uh, picture from Instagram, you do you. I'm really liking it. And then, as if, as if like Sarah Knight, the author, was listening to me, I um, opened up my playlist that downloaded overnight, and she's on one of my favorite podcasts. So I'm about to give this episode a listen, but um, this is Control Out Delete with Emma Gannon. It's a fantastic podcast if you've never listened. And the irony of it all, like I felt like the universe was trying to tell me, yes, you should be reading this book. Yes, you should be doing you. And yes, you should give less of a shit what other people think or do towards you. In my mind, reshape Mondays as mindful Mondays. I know it's kind of cheesy, but I just, with all like the negative memes and all the negativity surrounding Mondays, I really, really need this for myself. So, all that aside, I am about to go some real estate work in that sense. I'll come home and finish up a Udemy course that I am taking that will really help me with my YouTube. I'm feeling super empowered to learn and to improve my content for you guys and how I reach all of you. So after I do real estate, I'm going to do that and then I'm going to dance class. So I would say this is shaping out to be a really good Monday and I can't wait to listen to my podcast on the way because like I didn't want to put the book down and now I can keep listening to her on my drive. So it's fantastic and that's about it. I'll probably, if I have a dance video, I'll insert it later. If not, I'm going to say bye for this week's vlog and just leave this here and uh, catch up with you guys in the next vlog. If there is a dance video, goodbye and enjoy the dance clip that you're about to watch. Have a good week. Bye. <laughs> Hey! Hey!